And in today's video, I'm going to break down the hotly debated and discussed topic of Bank of Canada interest rate increases that, like it or not, are coming in 2022. Twenty twenty two is the year of higher interest rates. Let's just get used to saying that over the next 11 months, I expect to see a ton of news and media coverage on this very subject. We as Canadians love our real estate. We love our real estate portfolios and our investments. And we all want to know how increased interest rates are going to impact our biggest investments. So let's start with the basics. Why does the bank of Canada have to increase interest rates? Maybe they just don't do it at all. Well, the reason why they absolutely must raise interest rates at this point is because of our incredibly record high inflation. Consumer price index is an index of goods and services that are most frequently used by an average Canadian. And the CPI index is shown that the prices of these goods and services, gasoline, groceries, furniture, is up 4.8% in December of 2021, which is the highest it's been since 2003, almost, a, almost 20 years. This absolutely must be addressed, and it will be addressed by raising interest rates. To explain it simply to you guys, Interest rates and inflation have an inverse relationship, meaning the lower the interest rates, the higher the inflation. Once you raise interest rates, this should reel in inflation. Needless to say, inflation is not good for an average Canadian simply because the cost of living is going up. However, your salaries are not keeping pace. In a given calendar year, Bank of Canada lists eight dates as monetary policy interest rate announcements. One of these dates was January 26th, just passed, as, and as you may already know, interest rates are remaining unchanged. This is a screenshot that's taken directly from the monetary policy report, where the Bank of Canada is stating that they expect inflation to hover around 3% throughout 2022, and come down gradually by the end of 2023 to their target of 2%. Now, inflation is not going to come down on its own magically. It will only come down through interest rate increases. Tiff Macklem, who's the governor of the Bank of Canada, is quoted as saying that our path to getting a grip on inflation is not one move, but is a series of moves. As we sit here right now, as I record this video, we're going through a very unique time in history. We're actually going through a period of negative interest rates, negative mortgage rates once they account for inflation. When inflation is running at 4.8% and you're borrowing money from the bank at 2.6%, let's say for a fixed uh, mortgage, you are actually being paid to borrow money. Yes, I just said that you're being paid to borrow money. It's actually good to be taking on debt right now. You are up about 2.25% on a typical fixed and 3.25% on a variable mortgage after accounted for inflation. So that's your negative interest rate, minus 2.25% and minus 3.25%. Now this can't not go on forever. The mortgage market is pricing in six hikes. The lowest nationally advertised variable rate is 1.39% and the lowest fixed rate is 2.89%, meaning six increases of 0.25%. I will bet personally on four interest rate hikes this year, meaning that our rate will go from baseline uh, lending rate will go from 0.25% to about 1.25% by the end of 2022. Let's answer the bigger question. How are these interest rate increases going to impact your real estate portfolios? Approximately 55% of all new mortgage originations, meaning all new mortgages that are taken on by Canadians are variable. 55% of them are variable, meaning uh, that once there is a rate increase, 70% of those mortgages will right away see an increase in their payments. Now let's take a look of how much of an average increase in the payment you can expect. The average amount 
of a mortgage in the GTA is sitting of about 800K. And I'm being very conservative here. There are certainly a lot of new mortgages taken on over the past year and a bit that are well over 800K. With an interest rate increase of 1%, it will equate to $400 a month more in monthly mortgage payments. That is also before we take into account the fact that and any interest rate increase will impact a HELOC right away and will also impact your car payments and your general loans right away as well. So you'll see payment increases on those also. So are these interest rate increases enough to turn the tide in the housing market to maybe stop some of these absolutely insane bidding wars that we're going through? I personally don't think so. The reason behind that is that Canadians have the most savings that they've ever had and these payment increases are now going to be felt as much as some of us may anticipate. As you can see, this is a complex topic that can be a little bit boring as well, but if you wanna fast forward and leave this video with five takeaways, they are this. Number one, don't be a saver, be a borrower. If you're in a position and you have a down payment, get into the real estate market as soon as you possibly can. Number two, Having more good debt is the best thing you can do for yourself financially. Refinance your property if you have equity in an existing property, buy a second investment property, buy a third property, take on as much good debt, mortgage debt as you possibly can right now. I will caveat by saying that you should definitely have a good income foundation and hopefully you're able to buy in places where you can at least bring those properties to plus or minus break even cash flow levels. Point number three is yes, 2022 will be the year of higher interest rates, but don't be afraid. If January is anything to go by, Bank of Canada is extremely reluctant to raise the interest rates. The three to four increases that we are going to see this year are not nearly enough to bring the adjusted mortgage interest above zero meaning you guys are still being paid to borrow money. Point number four that I wanna make is I do expect to see somewhat of a reprieve in the resale market. There should be more inventory coming once we start to see some interest rate increases. It's not going to be enough to bring any prices down, but at least you're going to have a little bit more inventory out on the market to choose from, and hopefully some of these bidding wars won't be as vicious as they currently are. And lastly is we have a historic backlog in immigration applications. I personally know a number of people that are, they have come to Canada recently and are waiting on their PR status. And the reason why they're waiting on their PR status is because they really want to get into the real estate market. However, you're unable to buy property or real estate, qualify for a mortgage with less than 35% down if you're a newcomer. The moment you get a, a permanent residency, you can buy with as little as 20%. There's a lot of people that are in this position. Once the immigration applications start to get processed, they will hop into the market. As you can tell, my message is still bullish for 2022, even as the interest rates go up this year. I may reassess in 2023, depending on where our market is and what the forward guidance is from the Bank of Canada, but Canadian real estate has never been a better investment than it is today. I would like to hear your comments in the comment section. Ask me any questions if you have any, and thank you for watching.